maybe, maybe what advice could you give someone who wants to go the route you went and go all in to pursue their dreams, man? You know, what, what could you help? How could you help them? So you have to have a, a game plan, yeah, and figure out what it is that you want to do and the money that's going to take you to to get there, yeah. Um, when I first started my dance career, I downgraded my lifestyle. Yeah. yeah so I, I got roommates. Uh, I wasn't paying for my own place anymore. Um, I downgraded. I mean, it depends how old you are and what kind of lifestyle that you want. But like going out to eat at a fancy place every weekend versus like not doing that and like being more frugal with your money, cooking at home. Um, uh, real quick, real quick. How old were you back in 15? Can I ask? Yes. Uh, I'm 34 now. Okay. So I want to say I was 28, 29, 29, 30 or what? 28, right. Yeah. Okay, man. Like, that. I still, yeah. I still a little, you still downgraded, man. Okay. No, for sure. Like, so, and then I also didn't have any kids. That, that helped, right? Um, I didn't have any kids. I didn't have a car note. My car was paid off, um, and things like that. So it's like, Literally taking a look at your monthly bills and seeing, okay, what kind of lifestyle do you have currently? And what are the essentials? What are must-haves versus what are nice-to-haves? Yeah? Because if you're trying to fill your life with nice-to-haves, but then you also have this passion, which one do you want more? Because you can't fucking have both. Unless you have the money to do both, then then you can go ahead and do what you want to do. Yeah? If you got the financial backing. Yeah? Or have money saved up or whatever but even if you have money saved up like it's still smart to be frugal yeah of course of course um so that was the first thing i did i definitely downgraded um my lifestyle as far as getting roommates and what i was spending my money on things like that and then also just hustling uh to like make income in and then the thing is with the entrepreneur you have to create opportunities to make income, yeah, because you don't have somebody handing you a check every day. Exactly. Week, you know? Yeah. So I think that initiative to really take a look at the month and like, how much money do I want to make? Okay, what are the products and services you're offering? So let's say private lessons, or for example, okay, if I have a thousand dollar goal and I'm charging eighty dollars for a private lesson, how many private lessons do I need to try to sell this month? You know. Uh, who are those potential clients, you know, um, or like, OK, taking a look at your bookings as an artist. Um, OK, I have only one booking this month. What kind of opportunities can I create in some city to where I can come home with some money in another city, you know? Mm. Um, so definitely take a look at the finances. Uh, if you're putting extra burden on yourself and then again, it's like, how bad do you want your dream? You mentioned it's like, oh, you want to follow your dreams. You want to follow your passion, but you're not willing to let go of your, your cush lifestyle. Then, then you have to live with that choice. Yeah. Um, but if you really, really wanted to, you could downgrade and it's easy to do that without responsibilities of kids and, student loans and all that kind of stuff, you know? But, I mean, if it's really your dream and that's what really sets your soul on fire, then you have to be willing to sacrifice. Yeah. And what are you willing to sacrifice for that dream? Um, and also having an exit plan or, like, some money saved up or something like that definitely helps. Um, and then just having, like, a plan, like, okay, what is going to be your income plan? What sources of income can you create to give you the lifestyle that you're trying to do, you know, yeah, um, it's important to kind of sit down and take a look at the numbers of what you're offering and what you need for your lifestyle and how much money you want to make after that. Yeah.